luscious, it's creamy, it's coconutty, it's fruity. It's right on time for those summer heat waves. Today we'll be making tembleque de fresa, which translates into strawberry coconut jiggly pudding cake. That's a mouthful, say it three times. We're gonna start off with our strawberry infused milks, which is coconut milk and whole milk. Huh? What do you mean you don't know how to make strawberry infused milk? Step one, macerate your strawberries. Macerate is just another fancy word for marinating. By adding sugar to our strawberries, it's gonna make all the juices seep out of the strawberry and you know, juices equal flavor. So the longer you let it sit, the more juices are gonna extract out of the strawberries and the more flavorful and delicious your infused milk will be. So after your strawberries have been hanging out in the sugar for about 20 to 30 minutes, give it a quick stir, add your coconut milk in, and then stick it in the fridge to hang out for about an hour to further infuse those flavors. After hanging out in the fridge, you're gonna take an immersion blender or a potato masher and break up all those strawberries. After you've done all your blending or mashing, stick it back in the fridge and then repeat the process all over again for your whole milk, which I already did off camera. I'm not gonna bore you guys by doing the process twice. And there you have it, strawberry infused milk. We're gonna start this recipe off by making a slurry. Slurries are great to prevent any kind of lumping or clumping when it comes to anything you're trying to thicken like sauces, puddings, custards, anything like that. So we're gonna start by adding a little bit of that strawberry infused milk into a bowl, adding the cornstarch, and making sure that we dissolve all of the cornstarch into the liquid. You can see I started with a rubber spatula but quickly switched over to a fork. I just wanted to ensure that all the cornstarch at the bottom of the bowl was lifted up. Then we're gonna add to a pot that has the flame off, we're gonna add our coconut milk, followed by our cornstarch slurry, then our strawberry infused milk, followed by sugar, and we're gonna mix everything up while the flame is still off. We're doing this to make sure that we don't get any kind of lumps and bumps by making sure everything is dissolved in the pot before the flame comes on. And when we do turn the flame on, it's gonna be at a medium heat. If you still have cornstarch stuck to the bottom of the pot when you turn your flame on, it's just gonna stay down there and ball up and it's just gonna ruin the rest of your pudding. So I'm going in with a slotted spoon to get the bigger pieces of strawberry that I didn't blend up. I guess the blender didn't catch it. But I'm also removing those air bubbles that were created while I was whisking everything together. If I were to leave those air bubbles in, it would just ruin the end result. It just would look like a sp really spongy, holy sea sponge, I guess. I don't know what else to compare it to. Just get the bubbles out. Just listen to what I'm telling you. Get the bubbles out. You want a nice, smooth end result. Now with the flame on medium, you're gonna start whisking, whisking, whisking. You're gonna be whisking and stirring. You're gonna have to probably change the type of utensils you're using here. Go with your instinct, listen to your gut, and definitely listen to the pot because it's gonna tell you what it needs. It's gonna say, hey, I think I need a rubber spatula now. Hey, I think you might wanna use a spoon. Hey, I think I might need a fork. Like you never know, it's gonna do its own thing. Let it tell you what it wants. With this, you have two priorities, one, Keep stirring, don't stop, because your number one priority is to make sure it doesn't clump. Second top priority is to make sure the bottom of the pan does not burn, so make sure you scrape the bottom while you're stirring. Like I said, listen to your gut, listen to your instinct. Once it thickens, and there's no time on this, it's gonna thicken on its own accord. Once it thickens, take it off the fire, put it in your pot. You're gonna wanna clean up the edges, nice and clean, be better than me, do better than what I did, and you're gonna wanna smack it against the counter to get any cracks or air bubbles out. The more effort you put into getting the edges clean, the prettier it's gonna look in the end. After that, stick it in the fridge and wait. After hanging out in the fridge for a couple of hours, it's time to plate. You're just gonna take another plate, put it on top of the mold, flip it on over, it's gonna plop out. This cake is really cool because if it has any kind of imperfections, which most of the time it'll have a couple of blemishes here or there, you can just cover it up with chantilly cream if you want to get fancy. You can just take some fruits, cut it up, stick it on the side of the cake. You can really let your freak flag fly when it comes to decorating this cake if you want to cover any kind of imperfections. As far as how you serve this cake, it's really up to you. I like it cold out of the fridge. It's really refreshing to me. But if you'd like, there's no problem with serving it at room temperature. It's all about your preferences. And voila, here we have it, tembleque de fresa, our strawberry coconut jiggly pudding cake. 
Is it a pudding? Is it a cake? I don't know. I call it a cake. Sometimes I call it a pudding. Let's just stick with cakes to make it easy. But guys, if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a share. Hey, if you like the channel, subscribe. That would be even better. You know I'd love to have you come around. I post recipes weekly. I'm just here trying to entertain you guys. So if there's something you really want to see me make, drop it in the comment below. I do read every comment. I do respond to every comment. I love interacting with you guys. And hey, if you still happen to recreate any of my videos, make sure you tag me on Instagram. Let me let me see your recreations. I want to see what you're working with. I would love to repost and share with everyone else. Now it's time for the best part. Time to give it a taste. Ooh, look at that little jiggle. She's wobbling. She's jiggling. Oh, and just a tip. If you really want something that jiggles even more than this, like straight up jello, I would recommend using less cornstarch. That will give you an even more jiggly pudding cake. The strawberry flavor is crazy. If you like strawberry quick, then you'll definitely like this cake. The strawberry flavor does not go unnoticed here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Like I said, if you like this recipe, comment, like, share, subscribe. And until next time, bye. If I could stay away